fire. Hi guys, Napizon is here. Welcome to another episode how to make the ace in World of Tanks. If you are not interested in making the ace, surely this will help you to perform better in the game. This time I picked the tier 6 Soviet medium tank, the A43. The A43 was a project meant to replace the T-34 medium and KV-1 heavy tank during the second world war. But because the T-3485 was better armed, the A-43's production was cancelled. Because this tank has a poor armor but a great mobility, it can be used as a light tank. So let's go to the tactic to see the position of the A-43. To get the A-43, you will start with the legendary T-34 at tier 5. A very good tank for its tier. Followed by the A43 at tier 6. So, let's see how we're gonna upgrade this tank. We're gonna put the second pair of tracks that has 44 traverse speed, the last engine with 600 horsepower, the last radio with 525 meters signal range, of course the last turret with 360 meters view range, 48 traverse speed and 75 mm all around armor. And from these three guns, we're gonna put this one, the 76mm S54 gun. And this gun has, look here guys, 125mm of penetration with AP and it costs 80 credits per shell. 156mm of penetration with the gold round and that is APCR and it costs 2400 credits per shell and 39mm of penetration with HE and it costs 48 credits per shell. The damage with the HE is 165, with the AP is 115 and with the APCR is 110. Let's see now the DPM. As you can see the DPM is the best from its class. 2533. The accuracy is not very good. 0.38 The aiming time is excellent 1.74 And the gun depression is minus 5 degrees characteristic for the Soviets So, this is not a sniper gun Let's see now the general stats What we see here is calculated with the crew skills and the equipment that we have on this tank because we talked about the A43's gun in the upgrades, let's start this with the survivability. As you can see, the third lowest hit points from all the tier 6 medium tanks. With 730. The first lowest hit points has the VK3001P followed by the T3485 and equal hit points with the Skoda T25 with 730. Let's see now the armor. The hull. 60mm on the front, 45mm at the sides and 40mm at the rear. The turret is 75mm all around. Let's see now the mobility. It weighs 28.2 tons, fully equipped. Engine power 600 horsepower. It gives 21.31 horsepower per ton, so it's awesome. The top speed is very good for a medium tank, 55 km per hour. The reverse speed, 20 km per hour. The traverse speed is excellent for a medium tank, 50.26 km per hour. Let's see now the concealment. It's not very good for a medium tank. As you can see, 12.1 for a stationary vehicle, and 9.1 for a moving one. Now the spotting. View range, excellent. 388 meters. Without bino of course. Signal range, very poor. 572 meters. Let's check now the A43's armor in the tank inspector. So, 
the A43 in the tanky Spectre. Let's start this with the hull. Let's see. Lower plate, 83. Angled, 99, 105. The upper plate, 81. Angled, 92. The machine gun port, <laughs> 60. Driver's hatch, 80. Angled, is 95, 94. Here is 132. Small part here is 131. Now let's see the size. <laughs> 48, 55. 56. Let's see now the turret. The mantlet. <laughs> Garbage. 75. Near to the mantlet. One hundred and eight. And the cheeks. Ricochet, of course. The commander's hatch, huge big spot. Look here, huge big spot. In some places is 120. And on the top is 60. The side of the turret, 82, 85. So as you can see, no effective armor whatsoever. Let's go back to the garage. So the first step after upgrading the tank is the crew skills. The A43 has a crew of 5 members. The commander, the gunner, the driver, the radio operator and the loader. So the two most important skills in the game are Six Sense and Brothers in Arms. So the commander has Six Sense, Brothers in Arms, Repairs. The gunner has Brothers in Arms Repair Snapshot. The driver has Brothers in Arms Repairs Off-Road Driving. The radio operator Brothers in Arms Repairs Situational Awareness. And the loader Brothers in Arms Repairs Intuition. As you can see, I have a very professional crew on this tank. But if you have six sense, it's enough to make the ace. The second step is the equipment. We're gonna put the Improved Ventilation Class 2, that gives plus 5% to all crew skills. The Gun Rammer for faster reload and the Binocular Telescope, that gives plus 25% view range active when the vehicle is stationary. And the third step is the consumables, which are Small Repair Kit, Small First Aid Kit and the Automatic Fire Extinguisher, that gives plus 10% to fire protection. With these combinations, you have to make the ace. Let's see this tank in action. Time to roll out. Welcome to the replay. The map is Ellenberg, and I'm bottom tier. As you can see, I platooned up with my good buddy Real Fan, who is driving the other tier 6 Soviet medium, the T-3485. But the difference between these two tanks is that the A-43 is a flanker and the play style is more like a light tank style. The A43 has the best DPM 2217 in the tier 6 medium tank class and at the opposite side is the T3485 of course without crew skills and equipment. I used to carry 65 regular ammo and 35 gold shells that is 100 rounds and a total of 11,325 damage. So we have enough.
So nobody is here. Let's move forward. As you can see, this whole flank is abandoned. Finally, I spot the first enemy, the GV Tiger. Oh, bounce. <laughs> One. Two. This was my platoon mate. And I have my first kill of the game. Let's advance. Look at the mobility of this tank. It is very mobile indeed. I spot the second RT. One. Ready to fire. And two. <laughs> I spot the third RT. Ready to fire. Enemy armor is hit. One. Ricochet. Come on. Unbelievable. <laughs> These tier 6 British RTs are very fast, so escapes. My platoon mate is asking for help in the city. Let's go there. Let's see what we have here. So let's damage the ARC. One. And two. Three. And bye bye. This is my second kill of the game. Oh no no. <laughs> Let's avoid the Jeep Enter Monsters gun. Nice teamwork. This is my third kill. I see the IS2. And I started to damage him. Come on. Another good shot on the move. We didn't even scratch them. Where'd they go? And my team killed him. Now let's use our speed to flank the remaining tier 8 heavies. Unbelievable. Finally, I damaged the side of the T-32. Again. Again. <laughs> but the T-34 slash 3 took a half of my life. Nice hit round. Let's pull back. Oh boy, I love the mobility of this tank. Hello there, Tiger P. He missed me. Another one. Come on. And another one. Okay, T-32. Let's pull back. Come on. 
He reduces my life to a fraction. Keep moving. So I disappeared from his radar. But don't worry T-32, I will come back for you. Now the score is 13 at 8. Let's use our speed to attack him in force. I see him. We didn't even scratch them. We Come on. Their armor. Oh boy, three them. shots and nothing. Let's pull back. So finally I damaged him. We didn't penetrate their armor. Let's find another target. We didn't even scratch them. We didn't even scratch them. Come on. We won. Let's see now the post-game stats. So here's our mastery badge, Ace Tanker, and also we managed to pick up the Confederate Medal. We got 2004 experience with the premium account that isn't double. We managed to give 2111 damage. We picked up 3 kills and we received 1336 basic experience. Shots fired 41, direct hits 34 and only 20 penetrated and also we managed to do 669 spot damage personally i like this tank because it really fits to my playstyle thanks to his mobility and speed what about you guys do you like the a43 or not please share your thoughts in a comment below thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this good luck on the battlefield and see you in the next episode